All right, let's find some areas. Some areas with polar coordinates. Okay, I'm looking for the area of this guy, where r is equal to one plus two times the sine of theta. And further, when we go and we graph that guy, we see it's a lemicon. And what are they looking for? They're looking for the area of this one loop. In order to get the area of that one loop, we need to find this guy so that we can properly integrate. In order to find that guy, we need to find where r is going to be zero. Because when we're over here, we see that we start here at one y, because the sine of zero is zero. Two times zero is zero plus one. I start here when theta is zero, and then I proceed in this fashion. Up to here, when pi over 2, pi over 2, the sine is um, um, 1, and then 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1, that should be a 3. T, T, and then we keep on keeping on until it doubles back upon itself. Now, in order to find that point, I need to solve this guy. So I see the sine of theta is equal to a minus one half. So then I have to look to see where the sine is a minus one half. If I'm looking at that guy, the sine is minus one half here at 11 pi's over 6 and over here at 7 pi's over 6. You can use inverse signs or whatever or graphically look at the picture like here. All right, so now, oh, so freaking hot. And then, uh-huh, 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 yeah! Now I know that my area is gonna be the integral from A to B, and then that's one half times F of theta. The dang thing is squared, d theta. That's the, hmm. Form for area for polar? And then I'm going to go and I'm going to plug all that stuff in there. So my area is going to be from down here, say, um, 7 pi's over 6. That's when it approaches here, boom, and then whoop de whoop 11 pi's over 6, 11 pi's over 6, okay. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze that half out front. And then I'm going to put a 1 plus 2 times the sine of theta squared d theta in there. All right. So then you multiply that guy out and your area is going to be 1 half times 7 pi's over 6 to 11 pi's over 6. And then this is 1 plus this one times that one, double it. 4 sine theta, and then that one squared, plus 4 sine squared theta, d theta. Now, from here, you take it, but remember that the sine squared theta has a reduction formula, 1 minus the cosine of 2 theta all over 2, and you're going to want to plug that in there so that you can integrate that right there. And whew, I'm done right here.